Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be creating our first menu. Now, we had menus that were previously already created for us, and this one's going to be a quick one because we're going to show you just how easy it is to create your own menu full of whatever links you would like. So now that we've worked with the menu, let's go ahead and create a menu. Now in this particular example, we're going to be creating a menu that's multi-layers deep. Now we don't have a ton of content to work with, but what we do have is a couple of blog posts, or at least one blog post. We have this node uh, slash to my edited post. So let's say we wanted to make a new menu that's just going to have home as a link and then our several different posts. So let's go ahead and head to structure. From here, we can head to menus, and let's go ahead and click add menu. This is going to just be side nav. Now you can just have this be whatever you'd like here, and this can just be a side, a sidebar navigation for posts. Okay, and we can click save. Now, because we don't have a ton of content, it's not going to be amazing, but let's go ahead and click add link and we can at least get a basic menu going. We, we can just say recent posts, which is going to take us home. Now to take us home, you'll notice that it says enter front for the front page. Now let's come to description and we don't really need anything there. So, and we don't really need anything there. And as you can see, show as expanded is unchecked, but since we're gonna have this as be a child, uh, we're gonna have a child of this, we want show as expanded checked. In addition, we want the parent to be side nav and the weight to be zero. Let's go ahead and click save. Now the next one's where it's going to get a little bit more fun because we're gonna have a child link. We can click add link once more, and let's go ahead and say menu link title. Uh, it can just be first post and the link is going to be to node slash two. Now in the real world, you might want this list to be automatically generated and there's lots of solutions to do that, but none that are super easy out of the box. I personally would use views to create a list for this and I might be going over that exactly in the advanced view series that's going to be available. Now we have the link to node slash two and we have first post and we're not going to have a description. And this doesn't need to be show as expanded because it's not going to have any children. However, parent link is going to be recent posts, which is the one we just created. And I can leave this as a weight of zero. Since this is a parent, having a weight of zero isn't going to clash with its parent who also has a weight of zero. It's going to be a new list of weights in there. So if I click save, you'll now notice this is now illustrated like so. We now have recent posts and first post. So we've now created a menu and our menu has recent posts and first posts and our menu has a parent and a child. So now that we've created a menu, we're ready to learn more about menu blocks, which is actually a feature that used to be outside of Drupal's core and you had to enter and you had to add it to every single project that you made. So in Drupal 8, it's awesome that we now have menu blocks in Drupal. So in the next video, we're gonna cover that. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.